Hey everyone, this is Ancient Forex Gaming with a brand new video for God of War. In this video, I'm going to guide you through Tears Vault so you can successfully complete all the puzzles and move on with the story. There are timestamps in the description of the video and YouTube player as well in case you need them. The first step is using Kratos Blades to grab the Winds of Hell energy from the outer ring that's floating in the top and take them to the room that is open and use it in the magical chestnut. Use the wheel to open the door and go inside the Hall of Death number one. Well, that's unfriendly. Be careful with these blades because they can melt you in a matter of seconds, so with that said, advance until you see the spinning blades with a symbol you can use to freeze them. Use your axe several times to freeze the blades so they can be properly aligned with the one behind them, and the path to the next magical chestnut is clear. Careful, brother. Leia's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. <laughs> Enter the room. Watch the cutscene and open the nearby flashing door so you can go back to the main chamber and fight a lot of Draugr. After the fight, use your blades again to grab the now exposed Wings of Hell in the middle ring and take them to the magical chestnut in the room that you just saw in the cutscene. Once it is powered, use the wheel to open the Hall of Death number two. Look, I just want to know the truth from now, okay? I don't care if it hurts me. Inside the hall, use your axe on the first block once it hits the ceiling. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch both. Good luck. And tread carefully to the far end where you will find a hidey hole to your right so you can escape being turned to mashed potatoes and enter the last magical chestnut room with some nice artwork on the wall. Use the shiny door to exit to the main chamber again. Now, look for a crack in the main wall near the troll statue to go to the upper level using the roots. Clear the enemies and go to the nearest spot so you can see the upper part of the floating rings. Use Kratos blades to grab the winds of hell, but instead of running away with them, aim for the outer ring so it can begin moving again. Now go down to the ground level. Clever. You know, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah. Thanks to Odin. And use the winds of hell from the outer ring, take them to the last chamber, and use them on the magical chestnut so the wheel pops. <laughs> but before you lay hands on the wheel, let me tell you, this is a trap so be prepared to be stressed a little bit, but I'll guide you through this. You will need to order the symbols on the wall so they are correctly aligned as follows. Moon, Midgar, and Sun. Here's how you can do it. Pull the middle lever first. Now, left lever to lower the moon. Next, the middle lever again so the moon stays in the left position. Moon on the left, sun on the right, Midgar in the middle. 
Then the right lever so the sun locks to the right. Almost there, left lever to raise the moon. Middle lever so Midgar locks in the middle. And finally, the right lever to raise the sun. And that's it. Enjoy the cutscene and the end of the mission. Be sure to check out more God of War videos that I will be uploading to this playlist right here as a progress for the game. But for now, hope this is useful. Thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.